Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we've got our beads strong. And then before you get that knot, just kind of, uh, you can't see me, but I'm just kind of letting it dangle to make sure that they all fall. So I have my little tail is out, but I'm just going to leave that out as a mistake and show you how to fix it later. But I got everything looks good. So here's my clasp. Yours might be a different kind of clasp, but you just go through and it's hanging off of there and you loop it around. So I've looped it through and just going to put it back through the beads. A few. And then I'm going to pick a bead to tie, tie a knot. So I got it about that far and I still have enough of a tail that I can tie a knot. And so I'm just pulling it and can you see that loop? It's getting smaller. And I'm just checking again to make sure there's not going to be a big gap. And you don't want to do it too tight because you want this to kind of be able to dangle around a little bit. And so now I've got enough. I'm just gonna do just a really simple double overhand knot. And this is where this wire, it's kind of a little tricky, just kind of have to make sure you get it right. So I'm doing this double overhand knot right above my red bead and I'm tightening it up there. So that's my first knot. And then a second knot. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it a little hard from holding those top beads to see if it slips. And my knot, it's not slipping. So I don't know if you can see that. I've tied the double overhand knot. I'm holding my clasp, pulling those beads. It's not slipping. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm just going to tie, tighten it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to loop it back through some more beads. And if you want, um, I'm actually going to tie a second knot just because I like, um, I think this is a manufacturing term or it's a term for in something of redundancy so that you have, uh, you know, if one, if one knot fails, the other one will stay. So oh, I didn't, I'm going to have to undo it just a little bit to have enough room to tie a knot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I've looped, I've done a knot, looped it down through three more beads, and I'm gonna do another knot. Like another word could be insurance. Yeah. Or like a, that it's gonna happen. Yeah, or a backup plan. Yeah, backup plan. And then I'm just tying it. And you know, if you have little hands, this might be kind of hard. Um, and your knot might show, like my knot is showing. That's okay. Sometimes if you make your knot small enough, it'll slip up inside the bead. Um, but I'm just trying to pull it really tight to make that, but not so tight that it makes that, you know, not dangle at the end. So, so, all right. I think that looks pretty good. If you have more room, you could do a third knot but I'm just going to hide the rest of this tail as much as I can in the, the beads. And so this is one of the things I forgot to tell you. If you have a pair of fingernail clippers, um, those are perfect for clipping this wire. And so I've tucked it in. It's kind of tricky. It's a little short, but I've tucked it in through the beads. So here I looped it through my clasp, went through, tied a knot there, tied a knot there. It's looped up through there. And now, uh, where did my fingernail clippers go? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe, well, I'll show you the mess of this place as well. It doesn't matter if I don't have fingernail clippers because I have, but I wanted to show you with fingernail clippers so you could see that it works. I have this, oh, here they are right there. Yeah, so just for just for reference, like this is the mess I'm looking at over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's where I'm trying to find my fingernail clippers. Okay, so here's my fingernail clippers. Here's my my wire. I just kind of folded those in half, 
and then you can just clip it and it just clipped right off. Okay. So now you got a nice little thing. So remember when I said I made that mistake on purpose? So here was that mistake on purpose where that little tail's coming off. Well, I can just do the same thing with that. Just clip that and I don't have that showing. So that's pretty okay. I like that. So that's how you do the knot. Um, I'm gonna stop recording now. So